This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Most assuredly, you've heard about the insane to watch and tragic event that was the collapsing of the bridge in Baltimore, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. I woke up the other morning, and it was the first thing because it happened overnight, and it it was almost like a scene out of a movie. It's so remarkable. There were deaths. It was terrible. It, it, it's going to cripple one of the least important things about it. It's going to cripple Baltimore and shipping for months and months to come. But people lost their lives. And leave it to our grifter population, our a profit a population to spring up and after the fact tell us that, oh, God told me this was going to happen. <laughs> These people are without dignity. They are without shame. The money must be real good when you are one of these uh, prophets of God. These people who have the bat phone to Jesus. Hey, uh, what's that? Oh, a, there's going to be a bridge collapse and you're giving me all the signals and the details about it. I'll just keep that to myself, and then I'll talk about this conversation after the bridge collapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So first, we're going to talk about a guy named Dutch Sheets, another one of these self-proclaimed prophets, who goes on to talk about the dream that he had. Again, if you knew there might be serious loss of life, why would you not alert the American public? Instead, you wait until after the fact to tell us about your goofy dream, Dutch. Watch this. Yeah, well, I, I think if we're going to look at the prophetic aspect of this, which I think is appropriate, I'm going to say I received a dream sent to me a week ago, and it's the only dream I've ever received in my life in which it had, it had the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. And in the dream, I was in travail at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And as I stood from the travail, I stood up with a guitar and I strummed the key of C. That's a play on words. And then I began to sing the national anthem. And I said, oh, say, can you see to the key of C? And I just held the word C and I kept saying that over and over again. Oh, say, can you see, and it began to go out across the nation in sound waves. And I said this, I made this decree. I declare that a seeing anointing goes out over this land to break the spell of delusion. The Lord is opening the eyes of the people so that they will see. And then an angel choir joined me and they began to sing the song, Shout to the Lord. Uh, a, a song we sang 20 or so years ago. And the emphasis was when they came to the part that said, nothing compares to the promise I have in you. And the point of the, then they began to surround the Capitol and sing that song. So it was all about op uh, re removing the delusion. It, obviously a warning, obviously connected to the nation, this, this bridge and, and this dream. And so what God is saying is, he wants us to cry out, continue to cry out for the breaking of the delusion over America so that we see clearly and that we have authority to break this spell of delusion so that the people can see, including our leaders in the Capitol and elsewhere. I hope that made sense. I tried to do it really quickly. It does. Quickly. It does make sense. <laughs> What's with these goofs and their play on words? The other day I did, about weeks ago or so, I did a video about uh, Hank Kuhneman, who was in the midst of giving a, 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 a word from, from God. He was a, a, a vessel for, for God to speak through. And he was talking about Colorado. Doe is in money. That's a play on words. <laughs> and then this guy, the guitar, the key of C. That's a play on words. Oh, say, can you see? Oh, you would think the creator of the universe would be a little more creative than Colorado and the key of C rather than C. But no, not their God. 
their God is just a, a lacking in creativity, even though created the universe and the planets and all of us and language itself, not creative enough to come up with something clever. See, Francis Scott Key is the, the author of the, the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. And that's the reference there. And then, of course, the breaking down of delusion. I mean, do they, are they listening to themselves talking about the breaking down of delusion? He says, no, I hope that makes sense. Oh, it does. It does make sense. No, no, it does not. It makes no sense. You are a lying, grifting charlatan who is using people's deeply held religion and their faith to bamboozle them. No, it does not make sense. Not in any way, shape, or form, Dutch sheets. He wasn't the only one. Our One of our favorites, a friend of the show, <laughs> Julie Green, also wanted to get in on the grift. I mean, you're not going to let a good tragedy go by without saying that you had communications from the creator of everything seen and unseen. Uh, something was up. Watch Julie Green, and I want you to pay attention to her speech. You tell me. Let's just ask the question. Is she drunk? This is early in the morning. Is she, is she high on something? Is she on pills? Because it's, it's a lot of... Uh, it's a lot of no weapon for proper a lot of slurring and mumbling and dragging her words uh, maybe maybe she needs an intervention of sorts um you know mixing substances is dangerous and people need to be taken care of by their loved ones watch julie green get in on the grift that hit a bridge and the bridge completely collapsed the Lord has talked to us about waters. He's talked to us about cargo ships and he talked to us about bridges and collapsing of bridges. And when I saw this this morning, I was just, you know, praying. I said, okay, Lord, how do you want me to handle it? What do you want me to do? And of course he wants us to pray about it because God has been warning us of these things starting to happen. And so now we're starting to see things. And God, again, has been saying about things are intensifying. That's why we always should be praying that we are always at the right place at the right time. Like we've had to cancel trips more than I want to admit because the Lord said, no, don't go. And when God says, don't go, don't go. And the reason for that is because he knows if there's danger ahead. He knows if the enemy has a trap that you don't see. And so I'm asking each and every one of you this day, not only to pray with me, but we also have to pray together that no matter what the enemies are doing and no matter what they have planned, no weapon formed against it shall prosper. So the Lord has talked to us about waters and bridges and collapsing bridges and cargo ships and Apparently, she's indicating she knew something about this leading up to this tragedy uh, and didn't tell anyone. How convenient, right? Isn't that a church lady thing? How convenient. How convenient and how shameless and how sick that you portend, you, you would have us believe that you knew, yet you sat on this information you could have saved lives. And then going into this whole thing about uh, she's had to cancel trips because God has warned her bad things are going to happen. But no weapon forms the gifts of so prosper. Every time I do one of these videos, every time I do one of these videos, I reflect back on my childhood in, in moments where I was in a, uh, a, a state of admiration for these folks. Like I really believed at a time in my life that like I would witness a guy like Dutch Sheets talk and think, wow, he's, he's being communicated with by God. And that, that hurts. 
because not me now today, like, oh, that really hurts that I believe that, but it hurts because who knows how many people believe the words of Dutch Sheets who were like me as a child, believing that he does have the bat phone to Jesus. That Julie Green is actually in communication with the creator of everything seen and unseen, known and unknown. So why don't they question, well, why didn't you tell us? The faithful congregation of Christians in Baltimore, the believers, the conservatives, the Republicans, why did you not warn them, Julie Green, Dutch Sheets? Why did you not tell them? Is the warning only for you so your good work and ministry can continue? You liar, you grifter, you trash. Blasphemy is what this is. This is a grift. This is not a charity. This is not a ministry. It's what it is. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can, we can talk about it in the comments, have a conversation there. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear from you. If you appreciate what I do, my takes, aggressive as they may be sometimes, I would appreciate it if you would help support this work. Click the join button below, become a channel member, two bucks a month. Patreon.com slash I doubt a podcast is another way. Follow me on social media. I'm there at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And uh, whew, I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine, please. And take care of one another.